beef broth, tomato paste, diced tomatoes, beefy onion mix, chili beans, kidney beans, green pepper, red pepper, onion. We have our ground beef here. We also have our hot sausage and we have a chili bag here. So that's the ingredients we're gonna start with you guys. I'm gonna chop up these veggies and come back. All right, as you guys can see, I have added my ground beef and my sausage to the pan. I'm gonna go ahead and with some seasoning, go ahead and with some garlic powder. Uh, a little bit of paprika. And you guys know this is just to your liking. We're gonna go in with some cumin. A little bit of minced onion. Some chili powder. All right. And a little bit of pepper. I like to add my seasonings to my meat because that way it, it has something to adhere to. And I can really get the full flavor. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go ahead and throw our Lipton soup mixer in. All right, all of that in. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and give it a quick stir. So we're just giving this a mix around here, making sure all of our seasonings get mixed up and everything. have it all mixed up here as you can see we're going to just go in with a little bit more garlic powder to make sure we have enough all throughout okay a little garlic pepper seasoning because you really can never go wrong with these seasonings I mean, can't really overdo it. Uh, all it's gonna do is just make it more flavorful. So we're just gonna get that mixed up. So just coming back to show you guys how we're looking now. Our meat is getting about done. So in just a minute, we're going to strain this, strain the grease out of it. And add the remaining of everything else. So you guys, so I'm coming back. I added in my, I added in my chili beans, my, uh, tomato paste, I added in about half the can. Diced tomatoes, I added in my other pack of beefy onion, and I also added in my chili packet. And my beef broth. So you guys, I'm gonna pour in the beef broth. It is gonna take on a watery look at first. You let this cook on low for about an hour and a half. And it's going to be nice and melt in your mouth. It's going to cook down. It's going to be the perfect texture. But this is where we're at right now. This is what we have. All right. 
right, so let's let this cook and we'll come back and see. So I also am going to add a little bit more paprika and a little bit more chili powder. Okay, that's it. We're going to stir it up. Alright you guys, so check back on here. I'm going to go in and put in a little bit of my seasoning blend with the garlic, herb, and sea salt and black pepper. And also going to add just a little bit of accent. So I don't use um, just plain salt you guys. So that's just going to add a little bit more flavor. So we can make sure our chili is not bland. You hear me? So... All right, so let's just cover her hands. As you can see, it is thickening up nicely. As you can see where our liquid started, as you can see now it has thickened up a bit and see where it is now. This is looking amazing. Alright, this is uh, pretty much done. And you can pretty much just go ahead and turn it off. And like I said, this has been cooking for about an hour after you add the broth. And you are going to add that full thing, that full broth in there as well. All right, so I'm gonna plate it and we're gonna come back and show you guys the finished product. You guys, so this is what we have. This is the finished product. I threw a little cheese on top of mine, a little sour cream and some jalapenos. So let's take a bite. All right, so. Mm. Let's get a dip in there. 